Hi everyone, welcome back to another Melting My Stash review. I'm going to talk about what I have been melting over the past few weeks. And I'm going to start off with what I melted from Vintage Chic Scents. I only have one. And this one is Bomb Pop Martini. And I really like this scent. It took me back to my childhood. It smelled exactly like one of those Bomb Pop Icy's. I didn't pick up on anything else. I see it says Martini. I just got the Bomb Pop. I melted it in a 24 watt warmer in my uh, little home office den space and just really, really nice. Uh, it was more of a medium scent. Uh, like if I were to compare it to the Lucy and Ethel scent that I melted a few weeks back, I think this one was um, more of a medium compared to that one. But it was nice. It definitely had that authentic bomb pop scent. So it was good. Okay, this one is from L3 and this is Coconut Cream Coconut Extreme Cuppy Cake. And um, I did not get anything from this one, unfortunately. I mean, I melted, I cut this in, um, I melted one half in a 24 watt warmer. And my little room where I call it a home office, a den, a craft room, a wax room. I mean, it's, it's, I'll just say my room. And it's, I didn't get anything. I also melted this in my bedroom in a 20 watt warmer and I had one half left and I kind of just cut maybe cut it in half and I didn't get anything and then I put the other half of it in the warmer and I still didn't get anything so I I don't know um just didn't there was no scent coming from this so I was pretty disappointed with this one I have two here from Rose Girls, and this first one is going right now. Uh, this is ooey gooey baked zucchini bread, and it was actually going yesterday. I had put it in sometime yesterday evening, uh, let it melt for several hours, then turned off the warmer and went to bed. When I got up this morning, I turned the warmer on, and lo and behold, there's still scent in the wax, and it smells wonderful. So I'm just going to let it continue until all of the scent is gone. It's a very creamy, toasty, sweet, um, almost like that brown sugar type of sweetness. I love that one. I walk into the room, I inhale it, and it's like this warm feeling comes upon me. It's just so, so good. This is definitely pie worthy. I would get this again. This next one, wonderful. Raspberry Coconut Serendipity. I also had this one melting earlier in the day yesterday, and I think I made a mistake by pouring it out when I thought that all of the scent was gone because um, this one kind of snuck up on me. Now, when I first put it in the warmer, if it seemed like it took a while for it to um, begin to release the scent. But what I didn't realize is that it was scenting. I, I think I had the ceiling fan on on a low speed. When I went into the back rooms, I could smell this one, and it was delicious. What really stood out for me was the coconut but it blended with that raspberry and the raspberry is almost like a syrupy raspberry but not not nasty just really good and sweet very nice on this one not really sure about the serendipity in this one I I'm not really sure if I picked up on it because I was so into the coconut and the raspberry don't really feel like I got the serendipity but this was delicious I had it going for pretty much most of the day and then I thought it was finished. I wanted something else. But now I'm kind of wondering, um, since this one has still more scent in it in the next day, I bet this one probably did too. It was so good. So if ever I get the chance to order from Rose Girls again, whether it be a sampler, because this was part of a sampler pack that I was able to get, or if I'm able to actually place an order, I would definitely get both of these again. I have two from Front Porch and I dug, dug way down in my stash and found these two. 
Um, I, I just literally buried these with other tarts. Um, and I have forgotten all about them, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And um, what I was trying to do for most of the summer is melt up some of the things in my stash were, that were a little bit older. And so this is one of them. I had completely forgot about this chunk tart that I ordered from Front Porch. This one is pink malo lawn, pink malo laundry and lime malo laundry. Wonderful scent blend, beautiful. I uh, cut this one up into um, just you know pieces and melted it a few over a few different days in my warmers. Wonderful, performs well in a 20 watt and a 24 watt as well as a 17 watt warmer. Beautiful scent, perfect for laundry day or any day, whether you're doing laundry or not. Um, those notes, front porch has really good laundry scents. If you're familiar with them, it comes through here. But then the pink plays a role in this one that's really nice. But what's really great in this one is the lime. The lime kind of tones down all of that sweetness of the, the marshmallow and the pink and kind of just balances everything out and just gives it a fresher scent, a more mature scent. It's very nice. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I went through this one kind of fast. It, it usually would last a full day, but then I want more of it the next day. So yeah, this one went fast. This is one I'm going to have to look for again. And then I finished up my vanilla grapefruit. Just love this scent. Always love it. Um, it's just refreshing to me. I love the blend of this tart grapefruit and then taking that vanilla and blending it in there. I think it just works so well. So um, I always get a kick out of melting this one. And uh, I have to look for this again as well. Now I have a few here from Dairy Air Crafts and Gifts. And this first one is Starburst. And I like her Starburst scent as a single scent. I know that now. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I did my last Melting My Stash review, I had melted a Starburst blend. It was a tropical Starburst blend. And it smelled good, but I like her Starburst as a single scent rather than the blend. Um, and it's definitely authentic. This definitely reminded me of the Starburst candy. I thought it was really good. Um, so I enjoyed melting this. Uh, I melted it. Um, I think I got two or three melts out of it. Definitely one melt was with a 24 watt warmer. Another one was with a 20 watt warmer. I got good performance, good throw. So yeah, I would get this one again. This next one that I have from Dairy Air Crafts and Gifts was very good. This was Banana Caramel Cupcake Birthday Cake Coconut Cabana. The coconut in this one was so strong. This was an authentic coconut cabana scent. It reminded me of that coconut cabana scent that Bath & Body Works used to have or, or still has. I don't even know. But I remember it very well. I had the candle and um, it was delicious. This scent was authentic. It came through. It blended very well with the banana caramel cupcake as well as the birthday cake. But it stood out um, much more than these other things. But I could smell everything. But that toasty coconut, creamy coconut scent was just all around the space when I melted it in a 20 watt warmer. And I, I was just loving it. So this is one that I would get again. Um, I believe this was part of the mystery bag that I had ordered. So this is something that I have to, you know, at some point when I do place another order with Dairy Air Crafts and Gifts, I'm going to have to write this one down because this, I guess, would have to be a special request blend. I don't know if this was a custom blend for someone or if this is just a blend that Leanne came up with, but it's wonderful. This next one was Birthday Cake Buttery Cake Bites. Cotton candy frosting. This one was good. It was okay. Um, not my favorite when I think about the one that I just reviewed or some other ones that I've talked about in the past. This one was good. Um, and it really had a, a strong buttery cake note. That stood out a lot as well as the birthday cake. More like that buttercream frosting scent. I don't remember the cotton candy so much. 
um, in this one and this one had a medium throw and I thought it did very well so I like that one now I really enjoyed this one and look at everything that's in here fluffy marshmallow pink sugar blackberry jam butter cookies lemon poppy seed <laughs> yeah there's a lot going on with this one but you know what it worked it was so good what really stood out was the blackberry jam and oh how I love that scent it's just so wonderful I think another thing that stood out a lot that played an important role in this particular blend was the lemon poppy seed yeah I could smell it it was like just throughout the time that it was melting I would get that that burst of lemon along with the the consistent that constant um, blackberry jam scent and it was good they blend well together I also picked up on that butter cookie note which was mmm it was so delicious and the sweetness of the marshmallow the pink was in there too it would like come and go I would get hints of the pink so I really enjoyed this one I have to admit uh, this is one that I would like to get more of it lingered it flowed throughout my home it was just perfect okay from sassy girl aroma I have two here I have this one which is rainbow sherbet cotton candy this was more of a medium scent when I think of some of the other sassy girl aroma scents that I've melted this one seemed a little lighter to me but it was a nice scent that rainbow sherbet and the cotton candy blended together creates this really nice blend you get this really um, nice sweet sherbet scent but then you get a little bit more sweetness because of the cotton candy the cotton candy doesn't just stand apart so you don't get you know a whole bunch of a cotton candy scent it doesn't stand out on its own it just blends and you kind of know it's in there this is a really nice scent it almost smells kind of candy like which is really good medium scent will fill up a um a you know a medium size or smaller room but I'm not really sure how it would do in an open floor plan now this one I was particularly interested in melting this is also from sassy girl aroma and this is blueberry creme brulee birthday cake uh, when I first got this one I had to sniff it to make sure that it was not one of those sharp blueberry scents that I do not like and it was not uh, the cold sniff I did not pick up on a sharp note and when I melted it I did not pick up on a sharp note this was a very creamy blend this was a, a soft sweet blueberry scent and that creme brulee really was the star in this one it blended very nicely with the birthday cake as well as the blueberry but it stood out the most I love this blend it had that creaminess that richness of just a, a sort of like almost like a toasty caramel scent um, this one was very nice and this was a cute tart it was in the shape of um, Sylvester the cat it was just so cute it was a shame to melt it but I couldn't just let it sit there for too long okay I'm almost done I have two more this first one um, is a scent cup and here we go it's from Haley's Heavenly Scents and uh, it's Paramel oh sorry Paramel Paramel <laughs> and I really like this one now I've been melting some of the Haley's Heavenly Scents that I have in my stash and I was sort of not really sure how I felt even still I need to place an order and I want to try some of her blends more of her blends because I've only tried a few now, I, in my last review, I do believe I included um, one of the Haley's Heavenly Melts. It was a grandma's blend, and it was good, but I felt like it didn't really last. This one was awesome. It was strong on the cold throw, and it was um, strong while it was melting. Now, I think this one was gifted to me, and it dates back to January of this year. So I was really impressed with the throw love this scent it was an authentic paramel scent the notes of the pear um, a ripe sweet pear and then that sweetness of the caramel definitely come through in this one uh, and I felt like it lasted much longer than the 
um, more uh, the other scent that I melted a few weeks back. So I was really happy with this. And I think I'm going to be purchasing some scent cups from Haley's Heavenly Scents if she still has them available. Because I think I got, this is this one I got the best throw from. The last one is Beezy Tarts. And this is Vanilla Butter Fudge. And this is a scent that I cannot melt on its own. I cannot melt it as a, you know, by itself as a single scent. Whenever I melt it, I have to blend it because it's a very heavy scent in my opinion. It's rich and it's thick. And I just can't, it's just too much for me. But what I've been doing is just kind of cutting it, breaking off pieces of the the scent of the wax and blending it with other things that I've been melting throughout the summer so I finally finished it and you know it's good but for me I just can't take it all at once by itself so that is my recent uh, what I've melted recently and I want to thank you so much for watching and I will be right back with another review on strawberry scents okay take care everyone bye bye